Today is Friday, July 14th, 2020 20 freaking three, and it is 8 p.m. I get off of work today, you know, come in the house, kick, get, kick back, relaxing or whatever, sitting here chilling. So I'm like, damn, I ain't even looked at my emails and shit like that for in a minute or whatever. So I goes and clicks on my email. Why the hell do I have freaking shit from Tumblr, whatever the heck that is, and then I have a confirmation code for Instagram that came in between like 5 o'clock this evening and 5.30 this evening or whatever. Now, I got off of work at 6 o'clock, but I'm unwinding and I just got finished looking at my email. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't know who the heck it is that decided that that was okay for them to use my email account. Now, it can be a law official. It could be a family member. It could be a freaking ex-friend, a ex-lover, or a freaking random because everybody been doing weird shit with my email, with my identity, with my personal information. And y'all have crossed all type of boundaries. Like y'all done clone, had people come towards me to clone my phone. Y'all done moved in motherfuckers that work for the phone. You know what I mean? For the internet company and all type of weird ass shit. People around me where I live at, they done had the people from the freaking, um, you know, Wi-Fi place to come and do some work and put some boxes and all types of other weird ass shit on the top of these damn poles and stuff. So with that being said, whoever the fuck decided to make a Tumblr account and an Instagram account on this day, Friday, July 14th, 2023, and do any fraudulent, crazy ass fuck shit and try to post anything in my name because... Where y'all stupid asses is, y'all got cloned ass fucking, you know, uh, trying to clone IP addresses and shit like that so that it'll make it look like it's coming from my damn account. First and foremost, I freaking work too hard and play even harder in my own freaking life, in my own personal space with me and my children be on some relaxation and chill vibe. I'm not into nothing crazy. I don't be out here wilding. I don't be disrespecting nobody. I'm freaking, I'm single. I'm paying my own way in life. I'm doing a very good job, if I may say so myself, and it's not being cocky, arrogant, or anything like that. Anybody that knows me, that really freaking knows the things that I've been through, y'all know that I've been through so much fucking shit in life, like, I ain't let none of that shit break me because I'm not a breakable person, like, yeah, I, you know what I mean, I went through the shit that I went through or whatever, but this present moment where I'm at right now, I am in a whole lot better of a space than I've ever been in my whole 42 years of this freaking life that I've been living, without... All of the people that have been in all said categories that I named previously that tried to freaking hinder me from being where I'm at right now when it comes to me being okay with me being okay. You know what I mean? And me letting others be okay and helping them to be okay, you know what I mean, through this situation so that they could get stronger and they, they can freaking get back on their right path. I was strayed off. I was doing crazy shit. I was living a reckless life. I was promiscuous. I did all of that shit. I don't have no problem with admitting none of that. What I got a problem with is how y'all coward ass people is behind the scenes doing this shit. Y'all ain't even bold enough to come to nobody facing straight up and down. Be like, yo, I don't like you. Or yo, I've been freaking trying to get at your information. Like, you could respect the person more if they just come out front and just say what it is and what it ain't in this life. When you doing shit like this and then you trying to tie it to me so that you could get me jammed up on some crazy shit. And my action, every fucking camera, every place that I go is it, it, always being monitored and recorded. So if you it, it was really bugging me out is if you are if you are over 
on the other side of this continent right now and you're doing this shit or even if you're in the same area on this continent or even a different country i'm just gonna say this y'all lasses is so damn dumb just doing dumb shit y'all doing dumb ass shit why because don't nobody want to be bothered with the fuck ass shit that y'all got going on but then y'all want to sit there and paint somebody out to try to be saying that somebody crazy, they irresponsible, they can't take care of responsibility, oh, they don't know what they talking about, this, that, and the third, all of this other crazy ass shit. Like, y'all know, I know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. That's why y'all got to do this behind the scenes shit. And then having the officials and all of these other motherfuckers doing, going above and beyond, especially for all of the exes and family members and Oh, uh, ex-wives or ex-husbands of my freaking family members on each side, the Morris side or the Bunting side. Now, that's whole question thrown up in the air about the whole dad side of the family. But my whole thing about it is I really don't care what none of y'all have going on right now because I'm too focused on doing what I got to do. What I got a problem with is that y'all making it y'all damn business. You know what I mean? With all of y'all fucking uh connections with the people in the judicial system the freaking police any freaking facet of the dag on freaking the united states government and y'all are abusing y'all badges y'all are going against the grain y'all are doing the freaking most it's annoying it's very 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 annoying that y'all think that this shit is funny it's not funny it just show how much time y'all have on y'all hands to be going and putting all this effort and energy into doing all of this crazy shit when y'all could be doing the right thing getting better with yourselves working on your mental health issues working on your childhood wounding working on practicing forgiveness for yourself and for others for whatever the hell it is that has been transpired in your life see y'all mad with me because i don't give a damn what y'all try to do to me i'm still gonna be where i'm at y'all don't try to take my life y'all don't try to take my children's life y'all don't sit there and did so much shit and it ain't just to me it's to every member of the freaking family in some type of way one family member affected another family member like the shit gotta fucking stop like I was ashamed of myself for the part that I played in the shit that I fucking had to, you know, invest my time and energy and effort into shit that wasn't meant for me. You know what I mean? I already dealt with all of that shit right there. So for y'all to keep on talking about what I used to do, who I used to be, I'm not that person. Y'all ain't even around me. So y'all don't know what the hell I got going on. Not unless y'all are doing the shit like y'all doing. Listening to me through my TV. Cloning my phone. Freaking hacking my shit. Whatever above and beyond situations that y'all be doing. Y'all be doing the damn most. And then I got other people's peoples that's in on the shit too. Like, yo, when the fuck is y'all going to give it a fucking break? You know what I mean? I be trying not to be doing too much when it comes to y'all and me even having to speak upon y'all but in order for me to freaking be able to fucking be at peace with myself and be happy in life and do what the hell I gotta do I'm gonna speak my truth on my experiences in any facet in my life I got the right to y'all don't have no right to sit here and try to tell me persuade me, gaslight me, manipulate me, do shit behind the scenes, false report, whatever the fuck it is that y'all be trying to do, man, like, this shit is fucking so, it, it, it's just beyond baffling how far in between y'all will fucking think to do the right thing, that's, that's all I'm saying, like, it don't even make no sense, then my little brother hits me up talking about my mom hit him up earlier today or whenever the hell she hit him up or whatever, saying that she was going to the area where he at, you know what I mean? She going to be in the area next month or some shit like that. He hits me up to tell me, I'm like, okay, like what the hell? Like my whole thing is with the shit that's going on right now, the shit that everybody, like my family, all of y'all, all of y'all, Y'all be secret scrolling on my shit. I know y'all done heard about my page. So now that y'all know that about the damn page, stop coming for me on this dumb shit. Stop doing the reckless, immature ass shit that y'all doing and thinking that the shit is fucking funny because it's not. 
Y'all are not going to kill me. Y'all are not about to sit here and keep on paying so-called lovers to come towards me, to try to fucking date me, to try to pass off no STDs to me, to try to fucking drug me in any facet of any way. I will fucking cut even the fucking people that are in my life right now. I will cut them off too just to fucking keep my peace of mind and keep doing what it is that I know that I'm supposed to be doing here on this in in this plane of existence. Now, with y'all still trying to figure out where y'all supposed to be at while sitting there doing all of this stuff that y'all doing, like, yo, y'all mad with me, but why are y'all mad with me when y'all went above and beyond to do all of the shit that y'all was doing before I was even able to make any type of decisions and choices for myself? Ask yourselves that question. Ask yourselves why y'all are so mean, hateful, vengeful, and spiteful. Ask yourselves why y'all put money over freaking actually genuinely caring and loving some fucking body and wanting to genuinely care and help somebody outside of yourself. Y'all some selfish assholes if you want to be technical. How I could call y'all selfish assholes because at one point in my life when I wasn't thinking clearly and on the path that I was supposed to be on, I was a selfish asshole in, 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 in forms and facets and the fucking choices and decisions that I was making in life. I don't want to be no asshole no more. Or no petty, you know, doing all of the petty, spiteful little shit like that. That shit ain't worth nothing and it ain't about nothing and it don't get you nowhere. But stuck, trapped, stagnant, and fucking pissed off because you couldn't fucking control your behavior. You couldn't control your own mind. Letting other people outside of you control you to do the shit that y'all fucking doing. I was a fucking... A a a a a a, per, a person that experienced that too, you know what I mean. We all have been through some shit where motherfuckers, you know what I mean, through blue smoke up our ass and all type of other crazy ass shit. But when you get older in life, you decide that that's not something that you should be indulging in no more. And you do better. Everybody sitting around talk about, oh, this person is doing this. Oh, the government's not doing this. Oh, this and that and this and that and this and that. First of all, we first and foremost have to be the change that we seek in this fucking planet. Because what I notice when I sit back, I, I, I analyze a whole bunch of shit now, like on a deeper level. And I noticed that everybody want to point the finger past the buck and, you know what I mean, don't want to take accountability for nothing that they fucking do, but it's everybody else's fault. I can own up to whatever part that I played in, whatever the fuck situations that I've been through in my life and stand 10 toes on that shit. And then I also could tell somebody outside of myself because I've had so many fucking different experiences throughout my 42 years on this planet. That I could freaking help to freaking uplift somebody else to pull they self up out of whatever the fuck it is that they got going on in their life. What do y'all choose to do? Y'all choose to fucking keep motherfuckers stuck and all trapped the fuck up in some old crazy ass shit that y'all got going on because no nobody wanna take a look in the mirror for that at themselves. They ain't got the nerve to be sitting back plotting somebody fucking death and poisoning motherfuckers food and drinks and shit like that and sending people that you know got deadly fucking diseases you know ain't worth a damn you know is a fucking abusive ass fucking narcissistic dick in the booty ass motherfucker and I don't got no problem with members of the opposite sex that love the opposite sex I can't even be prejudicial to that shit because I have taken a part in that and part in a part of my life. You know what I mean? So I can own up to that shit, but that's not my twist. That's not my fucking preference. I was exploring, you know what I mean, my wild side in my youth. I'm cl- I'm I'm stepping closer into 50 than I am into the fucking 20s or my teens. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. And the majority of y'all motherfuckers, y'all is fucking 50 above that's doing this stupid ass shit. And then y'all employing the motherfuckers that's teens and older to fucking get into y'all bullshit. Y'all using your own fucking kids, family members, the dogs and all of that. Yo, I've been fucking stalked by motherfuckers animals. This shit is crazy. Like, not stalked, but trying to be intimidated and shit like that. Like, yo... 
Then when you see your dog ain't jumping and bucking that dog, know that I'm not a spirit that's here that's going that's trying to cause harm and damage. If if you know anything, people, that animals can sense negativity. Stupid asses. Babies can too. Shit. I'm sick of being harassed, bothered, and all of this shit on all levels in all areas of my life when it comes to y'all wanting to have domination over somebody. I don't give a fuck who you is. I don't care what sect you in. I don't give a fuck what motherfucking secret society. I don't give a fuck what what ties you got with who. I don't give a fuck if you in the mob. Motherfuckers be coming at me that be packing pistols and shit like that. Me and my children fucking took a ride to the fucking hospital the fucking other day. And it's this man on the motherfucker fucking he gets on the motherfucking train and shit and this nigga one of the motherfucker be pulling the motherfucking pistol out of his fucking book bag and get off at the same stop as us but the nigga was not in the whole fucking time somebody sent his motherfucking ass because everybody these bitch made motherfuckers over here they got a problem with what's going on if y'all got a problem with my mouth i apologize but right now i'm speaking actual fact and truth i'm sick of the fucking police i'm sick of these fucking fake ass wannabe gang members i'm si- i'm sick of these motherfucking sick Fucking fiend out ass motherfucking chicks that's out here fucking doing the motherfucking most. When I want to speak life into a motherfucker, to, you know what I mean? To try to fucking get them to use the, another part of their brain to do something better for themselves. This is what I'm out here fucking doing. I'm out here motherfucking wanting to make a difference, a, a, a beautiful difference on this fucking planet. If I could do this shit world fucking wide out, that's what the fuck I want to do. But I got stupid motherfuckers like y'all that don't want to see a motherfucker helping another motherfucker. But y'all ain't got no problem with helping yourselves the other motherfucker shit. Make that shit make sense. I'm off of this daggone recording. But y'all need to get y'all shit together. Real talk, real shit.